Hello everyone, it's WooTBM and Jabroni Tony again with another game that I believe I'm going to put into the Is It RPG Maker uh, category because when I first saw this I wasn't sure, but the more I look at it, the more obvious it actually is. So it'll be the first one that actually is RPG Maker. How about that? Whoa, spoilers. Spoilers! Uh, I'm sure for anyone who's used the RPG Maker tool... It'll become pretty obvious once we start playing. Uh, I'll watch the trailer too, but I'll watch it in-game for for reasons. Because uh, the first thing that happens is you get like punched in the face with RTP sounds. <laughs> Damn. But anyway, I'm picking up this game pretty blind just because I just saw it like randomly. And it looked like it had really good production values. And it's got like 98% positive and a lot of reviews. Looks like it has effort put into it, which is cool. It looks like a real game. Looks like a real game. Has, I think, one of the... Yeah, see, IGN had something to say about it. So that's like a real uh, thing that does reviews, whatever your opinion of them is. They are a real gaming website that's been around forever. It has yeah, they, they actually... Yeah, exactly. They, they don't... If they review it, yeah, regardless of your opinion on them specifically, if they do it, it means it's a pretty good release. Yeah, well, it means it's at least big enough to warrant. Yeah. Like, it's not some streamer with 10 viewers or something, you know. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's, that's being quoted for a review, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, let's just, let's just jump into this. But I guess you can see that little startup thing. All right, so yeah, that's RPG Maker. All right, RPG. Listen to that. You hear that sound? Yep. And the font, right? No, the font's different. Uh, but this it looks this, like RPG Maker font. This sound is absolutely RPG Maker. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. But let's watch this trailer that we didn't watch before, so you can see. Oh my god, the RTP, like, the second I heard that... And the... Oh, that Zua is? is no, RTP? Not, not that. That's not RTP, oh. but like... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, the... It's like the oh, yeah, slash yeah. sound. Yeah, this is so random. All this quality, and then I guess though in in a quality game, they're not really worried about you know because most people don't know the bass sounds as much as we do. Yeah, I suppose. They just think so. it's a sound. Uh, I just tend to think that the RTP sounds are very bad. And sure. You should immediately replace them. Um, but that's I guess an opinion. And looking at this options menu is pretty funny too because this is very blatantly. Plugin that everyone uses. It's the Handfly's options menu. So I'm just like, oh, this is definitely RPG Maker. <laughs> oh. That Yanfly man. He's the best. All right. He's like carrying the community on. Well, unfortunately, he retired. So mm. that's one of the reasons I don't have MZ is because all of his work is on MV. So I'm just like, I can't live without Yanfly. He's too good. <laughs> And a lot of people are thinking that they're gonna stay in the other MV or whatever. Yeah. All right, let's see what the hell this game is. Oh yeah, I have a controller. I need to keep remembering to do this because it's easier. All right. Blink, blink, blink. RTP sounds. Why? Fucking sound, dude. Yeah, the crashing sound. Sorry, I was making something, making sure something was where I needed to be. Sifrin, which is some kind of a name. Oh, I thought I was controlling that. There was just enough of a delay where I was like, am I supposed to do something? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Wait, that person talks by thinking? What's going on there? 
Yeah, in a parenthesis, I don't know. And maybe I'll explain it. Or maybe this it's like... font where it uh, moves all the letters with like the bottom parts, it moves them up. We'll just see if like that with the Y is looks all awkward. Hmm. No, 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 Bon Bon. I believe Sif. Like yeah, see, so look at that Y. Like you see how it's like the bottom of the E and the Y are the same, so the Y is pushed up. This font. You stand the up and laugh awkwardly. Yeah, they want everything to be not go below. Which I guess I understand. There's some times where you like cuts off things. It's yeah, annoying. it definitely has some help. Probably helps consistency with the with the line. You were just resting your eyes for a second. Ugh. Could you fall asleep standing up after we beat the king who has frozen the entire country in time, please? I'm sorry, Sifrin. You were sleepy because I woke you up from your nap yesterday, isn't it? Isn't it? That's not the right thing to say. Shouldn't it be aren't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Unless English. this is like a character flaw, I don't know. Isn't it? Okay, this makes more sense. Oh. You made Maribel sad again. You made her sad yesterday, too. It's your second time doing it in two days. You absolute monster. Say something to make her feel better! Something like... There's no choices, though. At least we should be happy I was the one taking Wait, try pressing up and down just for fun, left, right, to see if they do anything. <clears throat> Damn. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Huh? Doo -doo. But why? What would have happened if I took a nap? Since you're a kid and all, if you took a nap, us adults could have been arrested for kidnapping. Hoi 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 hoi. Ha 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 ha. Oh, gems. Gems? Bad! Puh! <laughs> hey, Ravel laughed. Success. Odile looks like she wants to strangle you, though. Now that Sifrin is clearly awake, we should get inside. Still have a long way to go before we get to the king. He's probably at the top of the house, isn't he? How rude of him to not welcome us at the door. Not sure if the comment's necessary. So rude! So rude. But still, the house feels... Strange, doesn't it? Do houses of change usually look like this in Mirabelle? No, they're not usually like this. Houses of change are usually filled with people and light. But right now, it's so empty and inert. And sadness... Sadnesses have taken over, and they'll be trying to defeat us no matter the cost. All because of the king. <coughs> well, we should go, shouldn't we? The king's butt isn't gonna kick itself, you know. That's right! We're gonna kick the king's butt and save everyone in Vagard. Not Vanguard. Vagard. <laughs> and save everyone in Vagard. You all nod determinedly. Ooh, that is a. Uh... Now, if that's a joke, fine, but that's like. Don't. Writing 101 is try not to use adverbs. Determining minutely, I think, <laughs> is. It's like a, a cardinal sin. Really interesting. Yeah. That's an RTP sound as well. All right, let's get ready. I have my orb right here. So let's open the house then. Use the joystick to move around. Hey, it recognizes Thanks, I have a controller game. plugged in. Before leaving that to explore the house, you should talk to your party by pressing A. When standing in front of them. Yeah, it knows that I have a controller plugged in, so that's cool. I don't want to talk to them. I want to fight. Oh my 
cut the default the default RTP sounds. Yeah, seriously. Still got like a sore thumb. Yeah, that's the even the switch again the menu. Oh god. Oh, I see. You'd think this wasn't a quality game because what? of that. Oh, it's doing this. This is like a this is like a RPG maker trope of like having a, a place that you have to you can click on to manually save, but you can just manually save from the menu at any time. I don't know why people do this. Oh, that's really dumb, yeah. What is the point? Uh, oh, I have a lot of items. Anyway, I don't know why I'm checking that. I don't want to talk to you guys. I'm going in. Let's go! Oh, it's like... Zelda mishmash. There's something sparkling there. Uh, yes. Tutorials. Uh, what door? Dang it, you guys! You didn't have some sort of, like, check to check if I had seen the door yet? What's up with the circles? Well, part of something bigger, the first circle is inside a bigger circle, which is also inside a bigger circle. It's also part of a house maiden's uniform. Like Belle's brooch. 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 Brooch? I actually don't know. I think it's brooch. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to remember now. I don't remember. Else. I think it's... Yeah, brooch sounds right. Yeah. Yes, this is how I decided to wear it. But you can wear it however you want. As a necklace of design on your clothes. Or not at all. Breaking traditions is also part of the change of belief. And teardrops on your brooch. Pretty. Goes ding ding when I walk. Don't you love it when things go ding ding when you walk? Sure do. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. That's all fine. Oh yeah, I have auto run turned on. And all and command remember because I'm just like whatever. So let's look around. Uh yeah. Items. Yes, looting is good in an RPG, yes. Ugh, RTP sounds. Every time there's an RTP sound. Yeah, for real. Oh, yes, so you're saying items. Okay, I got it. For everyone to share. You know. When it's same size, they're just that concentrated. I couldn't taste anything for weeks. Uh-huh. So was I supposed to read the store page to get the story? Because, uh... <laughs> I mean, mm. I guess I, I get that this is a tutorial, but, like... Shouldn't have to. But so far, a lot of these things feel like... Uh... Just tutorials and lots of chit-chat. Somehow I get the feeling that the whole game will be chit-chat. Yeah. Open the menu by pressing Y. Pillar, yes, very good. Uh, don't worry, I know that there's some people who, uh, when they're playing RPG Maker games, get upset when there's not enough interactivity. So good, everything I click on will say something. Great. Crafted one? equip and everything. Ginger, pocketful of pepper, pocketful of thyme. Boniface. Boniface? Boniface? It is kind of cool that they're uh, reusing this theme, like reinforcing it. Uh, sounds to me like the person who wrote this music. Uh, maybe knows a thing or two about music. I will say that the theme sounds really familiar. Like, it sounds like, I don't know, something. Some JRPG. Ruh-roh. 
Perhaps someone in the audience knows JRPGs and knows the scene. Yeah, so what is it? Leave a comment. <laughs> Whatever they say. Um, do I need to be told this? Is it not gonna? Yeah, have I was gonna say. You memorize this? This sucks. If you have to memorize it all. Let's see. Okay, no, it looks like it says what it does. So, Good. that's fine. That's fine, game. I don't need to have a little chit chat about every single thing. All right, yeah, we. It's just no. Run to the door. No, I didn't. You imagined it. Oh no. I didn't think it'd be locked. The king's scared of us, right? He has to be, since he's putting locked doors in our way. Hmm. Looking at the door, you notice a symbol over the keyhole. It looks like the yeah 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 yeah. Oh yes. Ah oh, good. Very good, I did it. Open the door. Let's fight this guy! Ooh. Candy corn. Battle tutorial time. It'll be fast, I promise. But first, do you know about rock, paper, scissors? Uh, yes. Of course you do. Uh-huh. Anyway. Oh, wow, it's it's literal? Wow. I, <laughs> it's like the first game that had a rock, paper, scissors system where it's literally rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, actually the three. To their appearance. And now, here's some battle facts about you and your party. You! You're a jabroni! So, how do I know that the main character is Scissors? Because they have, like, a pointy hat? That looks kind of like Scissors? Hmm, maybe the, there's no clues on your actual character, I don't know. I know it's set up for the enemies, but I don't know, maybe. Yeah, Mirabelle, so yeah. she's... Oh, oh, she has a double type! What? Huh. What? Inconceivable. Is a bow? The paper. So this person needs to be... Paper, yeah. yeah. Looks like a piece of paper. Helps out randomly in battle. That's it! Ask your glasses lady to examine the enemy. Oh no, ATB. Oh, it's ATB. Oh, it stops, okay. Hooray, I can spend all the time I want. Um, all this weight in Final Fantasy versus Act. So wait, craft is a move? Oh, craft is a move. So it's uh, funny, because it has scissors up there, but it has rock for its hands down there. Oh, yeah. I assumed it was a scissors enemy. But it also looks like a paper hat. Uh, yeah. I think it's a scissors enemy, but, and the hands are just a coincidence, but I can throw All right. What is this person? Uh, this person has rocks, right? Oh no, that's paper. Two turn wet? What? Gooey? Or is that the cooldown? I think it's cooldown. Listen, I'm going to use strategy. I got to. It's the only way. This guy's rock, right? Big, the guy, the guy, yeah, he's all beefy. The big beef man. Oh, it's two people. Oh. Oh, so the top is scissors, the bottom is frog. Oh, I see. Okay, so that's still okay, because that means... What, they have numbers? Wait, she can do all the damage types. Strong. Yeah, she's just paper herself, I guess. Oh, okay. This is like a... Blizzard, Blizzaga, Blizzara, Blizzaga, like in Final Fantasy. All the RTP Bruh. sounds you can handle. Yep. Uh, oh yeah, so it is cooldown. So there's no mana, I guess. Give your turn to a crit chance. Uh, Alright, so who's paper? She's paper, right? Oh my god, the RTP sounds. Why? Why must you RTP me? Aha! Uh -huh. Tactics. Uh, auto attack. You breathe in, breathe out. Six hundred. Jesus, that's a lot. Is it though? Yeah, 
because we have no idea. Oh, we have to actually heal and stuff. You don't heal for free. So it seems like doing things is a good idea. What? Not just auto-attacking. Yeah, that's why their hands are their, their uh, throw. Yeah. One's paper, one's scissors, one's rock. Oh, I see. What? Oh, what's... Oh, paper is hands out. And yeah. The right one is rock? Yes. Well, let's try. Let's do fucking the wrong damage. Let's just do just one damage type to everybody and see what happens. Okay. Uh, that went pretty really cool, fast. Is it? Yeah. That seemed like that did pretty good damage to at least two of them. Yeah, the one it was... I My guess is that the one that's weak took extra damage. The one that's the same, it just takes whatever damage, and then the one that resists, resists. Yeah, I think one of I think one of them might have crit, so that's why I got mixed up. Oh yeah, I did see a critical, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's hard to see, I'll read all three really quick. But whatever, AoE. AoE damage! Oh. Uh, yeah, it wasn't that sound, at least. Uh, so I don't think the elements are super necessary, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, it might get, hopefully gets more strict later. It's like your one gimmick is elements. Oh, I can't save. Oh, okay. Okay, oh, okay. I just, okay, I guess load. Uh, but this is a thing right here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this whole... I mean, just picking the right element isn't an uh, inherently good combat system, so hopefully there's more to it. I assume there will be, but maybe not. Yeah, I at least kind of wished it made more of a difference, because... Potentially that could have been cool, because I had, like, the give turn to somebody and boosting other people, so I could, like... Alley yeah. people into doing big damage. Um, so this person's scissors. So <laughs> that's I have to look at their hands. Basically, it's the best way to know. Uh, yeah, it's like that's always the clue. At least so far, I guess. Maybe I'll yeah. change. Uh, can you return to a friend? Get to the beefy guy. Just because he can Hulk smash. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah. Hulk smash. Hulk smash. Ugh. <laughs> That's what someone should do. Replace all of the RTP sounds with acapella versions that they record themselves of the yeah. same sounds. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so far, this is the best plan. It's just giving this person's turn to whoever does the big damage. Come on! Get a crit on top of it so that they die instantly! Oops. Let's do this. Yes, scissors, scissoring! Because at least they're not resistant, so... That's good. Um, I don't know if I have to heal. Wait. Actually, now that I know that crafting is spells and not crafting. Uh, well, I guess it's good I can access this menu to see, but... Oh, wait, what do you do? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, it's an actual skill. It's pretty funny. That's one way to uh, do things, I guess. Uh, so maybe I need to heal, I don't know. I'll use one of these weak ones. 50% is pretty good. Bleep. Yep. RTP, baby! Yep. <laughs> Put all this effort into all this, like, animations and stuff. But not, uh... I mean, I guess we haven't seen that much animation in the actual game. We've only seen it in the trailer. Yeah. Uh, but the actual assets in the game at least are all, you know, unique assets. Yeah. Yes, use a sword. Sword can defeat paper much better than scissors. I did. To do it later? Why not right now? 
Wait, to who? Isn't this person scissors? She has scissors on her head. Uh, this does less damage. But more defense. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh. 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 So why does, like, everyone can hear the main character's thoughts? Because, like, there's, like, nah, these, no, like, narration. Like telepathic. Yeah, I'm not sure. Ask her to read crafting skills. Oh, this is more tutorial stuff. <clears throat> no. No. It's a barrel. Yep, good. It's a good thing you... Yeah, it's like I said, there's like... People in the RPG Maker community are just like... Alright, click. just click on everything. Just click on everything. And then when you know, something doesn't happen, they're like, Oh, this game lacks interactivity. <laughs> it's like, okay. I remember I had somebody uh, on the Oni Cell Sword complaining that there's like signs you can't read and like a tent you can't go into. I'm like, but you don't need to. Like, that's why. <laughs> yeah, people are kind of quote unquote pixel hunting. Yeah, I'm like, the game is only an hour and a half long. I'm like, I'm not going to waste your time with pixel hunting nonsense. Yeah, but they don't know that. <laughs> so you, I guess I know you're trying to make it as clear as possible with the glowing and stuff. And they oh, should, I guess, at some point have to trust. He's respond. Trust uh, that you, they're not. You're not lying because you know there's probably people who are like, yeah, I see that, but I think it's a trick. There's got to be something that's hidden somewhere. There's got to be secrets everywhere. Yeah. So super archaic to still have pixel hunting. I know Resident Evil like the thing to do is you run at a slant against like a wall and you just mash the action button just to see if there's anything there and as you run it at a slant you like slide along it so you <laughs> still move a direction that's the way i'm in scissors damage oh my god they are weak who could have known wait they can... say, is this the whole rps system he can do it too okay oh but she can't I don't know, whatever. Oh, the AoE spells do like as much damage as the regular spells are pretty close. Uh, I'm a little... It is kind of interesting that it throws us in this dungeon right away, but like... The combat isn't... Um, good enough. <laughs> I don't know that it's gonna go many places. So here's a spoiler. Yeah. Uh, earlier I opened the... Uh, files to this game, and I was like, oh, I know this file structure, this is RPG Maker for sure, and they didn't bother to encode any of their files, um, and so that means I can look at everything without having to, like, figure out how to decode it, which I, I don't know how to do. I'm sure it's probably easy, but I, I, I wouldn't get bother. I only looked at it because it was unencoded. Um, and the enemies folder only had 10 items in it, so that's the depth of the game. <laughs> mm. uh, Guess this is a carry by the story, I don't know. Yeah. Which is interesting that they have so much combat in it off the gate, out the bat. For, uh... Oh, this person does sinners. Whoops. Whoops! Oh, these guys didn't take that much damage. No! Must do damage! AoE damage! Only AoE damage! We did it! Oh no! The default RTP attack! Oh right, this person can't do shit. I can only do one damage type at a time. Resist! So yeah, they're uh... Their damage type is when they do a default attack. It's there. As well. Okay. I was not sure. So maybe I can just do default damage. So you shouldn't touch it. 
I want to touch it. You know, the, the the one thing that we saw in that trailer was like, you fail over and over again. So it's kind of interesting yeah. that I'm getting so far before the game like says I fail. I mean, I would normally commend like, hey, you get to get into the gameplay right away, but like, there's not really much going on here. <laughs> they like immediately nope. like, hey, have you played rock, paper, scissors? Yes? Well, that's that's it. That's the whole... That's the game. Yeah, I guess I should run past enemies to try to find more stuff. I wasn't super compelled by the story because looking at the store page, it's another one of these like games about sadness and depression type things, it seems like. <laughs> and, uh... I don't particularly care for that. Yeah. I'm kind of in that boat where it's like... Alright, I get it. Like, the feelings, but... I don't know. I don't... I get people have it, and I respect it as a, a situation, but I, it's like that... I don't know. I just don't care about it to be in my video games. Yeah, I just don't want it in, like, a video game, I guess. It's like, yeah. I want to do stuff. That I banana mean, peel joke they had looked pretty funny. Yeah. But I haven't seen anything really. <laughs> it's like, but it was funny because it's kind of a meta joke. It's it's funny because it's so ridiculous. It's an it, it was like a battle screen, but with something that just makes you slip and you all dramatic. But I haven't seen anything like that yet. Yeah. Oh, there's actual lore here. Frozen in time. Also, I'm trying to think the art. This art is this looks like Scott Pilgrim art. I can't tell. Oh, this looks yeah. like a very uh, famous art style. I oh. think it's Scott Pilgrim. You know who I just thought of? Uh, do you know Shin Chan? That anime? That weird looking yes, anime? Yes. Yeah, I was kind of thinking of that. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, Shin Chan definitely looks. Pretty yeah, ugly. yeah. That, that is the one that, that I think that that's actually what I'm thinking of. I think you're right. Yeah, with the cheek that comes out. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with this little girl here. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, it took me away. I guess I can't do it then. Nope. See you later. See you later, chump. Oh, cool. Is this going to be something? Oh, still feels weird. Ugh. I believe the preteen when it comes to the sadness is weirdness, madame. Let's get the weird sadness then. Time to die, asshole. Like, how come characters don't say things like that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. I can't tell what this is. Is it going to be resistant to everything? Yeah, is this the first, is this it? Alright, well I guess we'll just do the big moves. You say a cool one-liner, I just realized that I said that at the top. Oh, this is also scissors. Uh... Oh, this person could heal for a lot, but only in combo. Alright. It's a smash! Oh no, he's general. He's too good. Oh, he's weak to paper. Never mind. Never mind. Who's rock? Where? What part of him is rock? I'm trying to figure out. Reverse engineer. Oh, that's a good question. How is he rock? Unless he's just gonna randomize his shit as like a boss fight type thing. Uh, so is she the only one who can do paper damage? Uh, I this chick could do two things. Oops, she does scissors. Oh, paper, oh, I see. Uh, let's do tactics, right? Use the buffs. Oh. Okay, she sucks. Alright, cool. Thanks for your help, little girl. Come on! <laughs> Uh, this person. 
So I can't do paper again, because it's on cooldown. Oh, I could actually do this. Oh, it doesn't use a turn? This one is just weird. Is it just me, or is there something weird about it? Oh, wow. So this is definitely a lot more effort. This is like... <laughs> the Analyze skill is just a common event that uh, triggers a bespoke dialogue for every enemy, I guess? So that's some effort there. Yes. Yeah, random. I mean, this game overall does... It's not... I guess it's not random effort. It's just... Some effort here and there. I mean, a lot of effort here and there. Yeah, it's some, it's some amount of effort. And these guys are actually talking a lot, so... You know, writing can take a long time. Uh... He's tired so turns. Enemies, plural? Um... Just, just attack! Just attack him! Just give your turns to her. Oh, I can't do that. Alright, well, everyone needs to go faster. Oh, these RTP sounds are killing me! Uh, oh no, she's out of things that are useful. Oh yeah, she can do this. That's right, this still doesn't do damage. Oh no, it healed. Come on! Yeah, man. Uh... Wait, what? I don't remember who I am. Uh, you. Oh, does that- I hope that doesn't just fill their meter. That would be terrible. She was, like, almost completely full. Oh. I think it just does- okay, that's- oof. Oof, it only fills their meter. Doesn't actually give them a free turn. Oh, does it say up? Oh, I'm stupid. It says up there what kind of damage it is. Alright. Oh, whoops, I just clicked on the first person. Uh, right? Yeah, because it's a scissors symbol, so she does scissors. Or she, they do scissors damage. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I ran out of things that I want to do. Time for... Oops, no, no, no. Zay Shear does... Whatever. Uh, this one, I guess? Pretty easy. Uh... Your turn! Uh... This finally available? So, I mean, what was the gimmick there? Just that it was a mystery? That what their element was? Yeah, I guess then you figure it out. It's like, okay. It's not hard. There's only three elements. I mean... Exactly. Crest in your pocket. A crest! Feels weird, too. Like the tears we just saw. Okay. Hmm. Maybe it'll be useful later. You know what's funny is a long time ago I played an RPG Maker game that had, like, uh, the mechanic was something to do with dying over and over again. But, like, I just, I never died, so <laughs> that was, like, not. Uh oh. So it's like they spent. And it was one of these games where it's like. So little effort, right? And so I was yeah. like, they actually spent effort on some sort of dying thing that didn't matter because you could just not die by being not terrible at the game. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty easy, as I recall. Yeah, that whole mechanic is killed. Whole waste. Wasted all their time. I was going to say, also, the, the girl a second on the left, I think she reminds me of Steven Universe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like trying to think of art style. It's true. It's like the characters have different art styles. Yeah, the main character looks like somebody. I'm not sure who, though. Yeah. Um, the big black people, as I'm trying to remember. It's, I think it's the universe. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, so this fight's supposed to be there are all different elements, but you just do AoE. Yeah. Until, I guess, they die. AoE good enough, because it chips away at their health. So that when they get hit with the real element, they still die. Yeah. Oh, this is tragic, though. They have this little health. One hit point, yeah. And this character can't AoE. So that's... You got me! One character that can't AoE! You breathe in and out. Damn it! He's a kid. Uh... Valgardian log. 
instead of a key, it needs specific words to open. Words. Say the words. Call it a an open phrase. An open phrase. Fascinating. So what is the phrase for this lock? Uh, 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 yes. What's in this room, though? Uh, what? Wait, you saw someone go in there? Boy, it'd be cool if, like, you... Instead of all this chitter-chatter, you talk about what's actually going on in the story. Because now it sounds like this is a place that, like, previously existed that they've been to. It's been corrupted or something. Too late now, right? Hmm. I see. Hmm. I'm interested in this. Hmm. No! Bullroom. Yeah, it's also RTP. Yeah, so I figured. <laughs> Let's see. Two salty broths. In battle, we'll know all of someone's craft cooldowns by two. So they're very useful! Use them wisely! Oh no. Oh, why am I clicking on things? Oh no. The last time Sifrin cheated the whole time. He didn't even notice. Yes. Very good. That's why Sifrin is the main character, because they cheat to win. Uh, uh, I mean, this is... I, I guess I didn't specify that this is a demo. I didn't buy this game. It's $20. I didn't mention that either. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, we might get to the end of the demo. Or we might yeah. just stop at some point. Yeah, I was thinking, I'm like, we might hit the ending soon. <laughs> we'll find out. Oh, the end of the demo, that is. Uh, alright, so... Time to get the fist. Time for a fisting. Like, why isn't that in here? That would be funny, haha. -ha. <laughs> uh, I'll just do this. It was a good joke, I'll give you. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Uh... What's I doing? Bet, 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 bet. Oh, probably rock. I'm kind of getting a little confused because they're on top of each other. It's a little hard to figure that out. Um... Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Alright, let's do this. Oh, and since I'm in combat, which is the only time I can use this healing spell... Oh, it's not, his, not her turn, though. Uh, this is rock, so whatever. Uh, you're you. I want to waste my turns so I can get to this. Because I can't do this out of combat for some reason. Yes. Uh, I need paper, right? So there you go. She does paper text by default, which is good. Aha! Victory against the enemy. I've forty-six. Wow. So I've I've I thought that like. Wait, learn this craft skill so weak. I thought that the, it seemed like the way it was talking at the beginning was that uh, this is like a flash forward or something. So who got that skill? Not you. Oh, this guy did. Okay, cool. I probably won't use that ever. Um, <laughs> lower these enemies' attack. But I must do damage! Oops, not. Oh, Jesus. Can I just, like, leave? Yes. Hooray! I don't care. So I have a thing, right? Uh huh. But I have a thing. Uh, well, I have a crest broken in half. Oh, it's Resident Evil time. We got keys broken in half. Hell yeah! I'm gonna find the two halves of a thingy. That's a, that's a thing also in Animusha. <laughs> Unsurprising. No. Oh, 
This is what I was talking about. Remember how you can't like they can't like interact with me? Yeah. <laughs> Cause they're stuck on my dudes. They're real. They're they're a collision. Oh no, damage. Uh, okay, I figured this would be one of those games where I could 100% escape chance. Damn, it turns too fast. Too fast. Um, so I'm actually not sure what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> uh, oops. Oh no. Yeah, am I missing something? Oh, am I supposed to touch the water that they said not to touch? That's what I'm gonna do. Maybe. Oh, I don't think I fought that thing yet. Oh well, it doesn't matter. They're all just enemies that attack, like, it doesn't matter. Blunk. Blunk. Funny enough, I think I used that for an aggro sound as well. Uh, before I replaced it with, you know, something else. Yeah. It's a pretty funny sound. That's the water. Wait, where's the... This way. Yeah, I have to. Okay, cool. Alright, so I figured it out. I'm a genius. Oh no! It took me to the fucking room! Alright. Pepper juice. Oh, okay. Alright, so this is just a storage room. I wasn't expecting a storage room. Oh. What? Did you run into something again? Oh, now Sifrin's running into things. No. Madame? What? Okay. Nya is too, I guess, too cutesy for her to say. Hmm. Egg key. Does it mean something? There's no time! Frozen <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, in time. Crab. Oh. What? Hmm. Okay, so I don't know what the lore is of, uh... Yeah, okay. Valgardian? Valgardian? Uh, yes. Why do we hate crabs? Who knows? Is it, is it like dolphins? What about them? We don't like dolphins. Uh, I mean, I guess this is kind of funny. This is like a Star Trek thing where it's like, haha, we have different cultures that believe stupid things. But I'm, I feel like this isn't really going to go anywhere, so I'm kind of like yeah. indifferent. Yep. Like, usually in a Star Trek story, you know. Having weird cultures that believe in weird things is like fu fuel some sort of conflict. And yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like oh, it's no, critical to the plot. Yeah. Yeah, or like, you know, teaches some moral lesson about understanding others, things like that. Uh, but we're just kind of like making a joke, like, ah, you don't like crabs, but blah, why? Blah, blah. Crabs is tasty. Yeah, and that's it. And that's the depth of it. And that's that's it. That's the whole thing. Yeah. So I'm kind of like, okay. Um. Shit, so where was I supposed to go? I have this key now. Oh, the main door? In the big main hall? Run! Run your ass! No. No more optional oh. fighting. Especially since now that I realize that I'm, like, flat, fast-forwarded to level 45, there's, like, no reason for me to fight any of these things. Because yeah. it's gonna take me way too long to grind, and it's probably gonna reset all of our progress when it starts doing the time thing, you know? Yeah. That's the... Uh, okay. Jeez. You shall face the might of my escape button. Ow! Haha, -ha, I defeated you by running away. Because it deletes you from the map. Yeah, like, why are there respawns? Like, I don't need to grind. Keyhole and open the door. Alright. Alright. Look at this. Progress. 
progress. Oh my god, he's too powerful. Time for the ultimate technique of running away. Uh-huh. Oh man, why? Uh, I'm gonna start holding A, because I assume I'm just supposed to get an item, and then like... Yep. Cool. Over it. Opaque glasses. I could equip them to her, but maybe I won't. So here's a question. Okay, so there's a profile. Okay. I was gonna say, I can't recall what they are. Because they're, you know, their art is too ambiguous. And they're not using oh, yeah. pronouns with each other enough for me to remember. So it's like, how am I supposed to remember? I don't know these people. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, nerdy glasses girl is the mage. Big buff man is... But then you also have the main character looks also like the mage, I don't know. Yeah, she's a little... Or they have a little pointy hat. Yep. Pointy hat! The witch. Oh, I, I haven't been paying attention. Whoops. Whoops! Ho 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 ho. Ho ho ho. So I don't know, like, this kind of falls into, like, um, you know, you see a lot of this these days, of, like, characters squabbling, and that's, that's, like, comedy? Uh, yeah. So I, I like, I, uh, <laughs> it doesn't work for me, man. And you see a lot in, uh, modern games, too. And people keep hating it, so... I mean, I can understand here's an indie game. Because I'm sure this is, like, niche and, like... Some sort of, like, dorky people can find this and like it. But, like... <laughs> it is funny that AAA games try to push this type of writing and people are always like, Oh, God, shut up! So yeah. It's definitely... I don't... I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't think this is for everyone, this type of talking. But, you know, it's... Just yeah. because it's... Just because it's not for me, I'm not saying it's bad. We did have a bit of that. <laughs> I think in Sea of Stars, wasn't it? Where we're just kind of like... It gets to the point where... Yeah, the dialogue, it, it doesn't go anywhere. It goes, you know, it goes nowhere for a long time. For, yeah. To try to add flavor, but after a while, yeah, you go, eh. Kinda, I kind of wish I could just get going with the game. Yeah, it doesn't help that, like... You know, typically in a story, you want characters that are, like... Different, but a lot of, the, a lot of these, like... I don't know, Gen Z or whatever type stories are like... It's almost like playing pretend with your friends, so all the characters are like... Maybe maybe they're a reference to some real person, or maybe they're not. Or at least they're trying to emulate like a group of friends. But the problem with a group of friends is there's no, you know, conflict. There's no, <laughs> there's nothing to like... Drive drama. It's like... And they all share the same sense of humor, so it's just it just feels very repetitive. Yeah. Like, exactly. These, like, there's a reason why a lot of movies, a lot of the characters just kind of meet each other, and like, they're like opposites, and they have all these problems, because that's like, interesting? Like, when the characters are constantly just like, hooray, we're friends, you just kind of feel like, alright, good for you, I guess. Quickly <laughs> quit, quickly quit. Same joke over over. Haha, ha, we're friends, that's the joke, haha. Ha. I'm play also, playfully teasing you in a way that's completely inoffensive. Kinda goes back to what I was thinking of writing comedy when you don't have any voice acting notes, you know, you can't really give that much tone outside of, I guess, some text. That it's is hard. True. It's hard to write something funny. Yeah. I will say the one advantage of the Gen Z thing is since all the characters actually look different. Like if it was a bunch of white dudes, I'd have absolutely no idea who anyone is. That's fair. <laughs> Open the door. I did it. I opened the door. Oh, what a puzzle. What? I solved it. Okay, I think this is when the shit happens. So we'll see. First boss into demo end. I definitely wanted to. Well, maybe the demo end, but I was kind of hoping to see like. Uh, I assume we're gonna lose 
and it's going to do the time reset thing. And we're finally, oh, yeah. And we're finally going to see the premise of the game, which I, we'll only be able to spend a few minutes on, because I feel like we're kind of already done here. Yeah. They kind of wasted too much of our time with uh, bullshit. Or, you know, like respawning enemies and like lots of fighting the same enemies when like I don't need XP or items. And I can just run away from them. Yeah. Uh, he said fist, though, so I already know. He blinked, right? So... Oh, I didn't heal before this fight, but that's fine, because I assume we're supposed to lose, right? So that's why I'm kind of indifferent to... Oh, he wasn't weak. Oh, yeah, see, there you go. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to lose. Okay, so maybe that was the correct one. Immune! Oh no, now he's that. The sadness. What did she miss? What happened? Oh right, I forgot that the extra turn thing isn't actually an extra turn! It just gives, what, half ATP? Or yeah. Height. And, like, look how full her thing is right now. I, I, I don't know if I... I wasn't paying attention the last time, but the time before that, when I first brought this up, this is what her ATB bar looked like. It was, like, 95% full. Yeah. So it was a complete waste to give her a turn. Hmm. Um, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to lose, so let's just hurry this along and lose. Uh, oh, I forgot what he changed to. Uh, I don't think it matters. I think we're supposed to lose. Oh, I should have saved before I made the assumption that we're supposed to lose. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's do this. Strategy, right? Because he does so much damage, he one-shots us. Mm. That saved me from dying. Such a big-ass heal. Big-ass heal! I mean... Uh... What's going on on the right here? These like, what is this? Is this just telling? Me, like, is this is that what I've done in the past? Two that's years? what I was thinking. I noticed it earlier. And I was thinking that. I think it's based on that. Yeah. I don't know for sure. This is okay, it's more damage. <clears throat> All right, so. This guy sucks. Let's give my turn to somebody else. Actually, maybe I'll... Pockets. Oh wow, 60% of their health on top of... Oh look at that, that's a nice quality of life. I can't actually select other people. I forget if uh, RPG Maker can let you waste items like that or not by default. Oh. Or it's like, here, use this revive on someone who's alive. Oh, oh he... They survived this time. Alright. Uh... Oh, whoops. I forgot. Uh... Oh, I can't do the heal again. We need more damage! Uh... You say cool one-liner. Eat shit, asshole! Scissors, so I have to rock them. Uh, but this guy's rock, so it's time for you to actually do something. Oh, am I? I might be dumb. Oh, I can't believe you did that. But why? Oh, because they never got the defense up buff that that guy gives. That's why that happened. Uh, interesting. Okay. Kaboom! Is this supposed to be a, a lo force lose or what? Because this is a really long fight if it's not. <laughs> hey, you're doing good damage though, so maybe, yeah, maybe it's killable. Killed. Uh, 
Uh, what is this? So they should be weak to... Maybe that isn't telling me what I hoped. I thought the state was telling me what damage type they were doing. Uh, no! Uh, I mean, this move doesn't take my turn, so... I show the scissor symbol. So a scissors type now. Paper and scissors attack? Okay, yes, got it. Jackpot points, everyone. What? What? That's a mechanic? Oh, that's what the thing on the right is. Okay. What? She said that, like, if you use the same element five times in a row, there's a jackpot or something. Uh... So... Okay, now it makes sense to deck because he was completely empty. Oh, except now I want to do this so they don't die instantly. Uh... Okay, you need to... Maybe I'll use you to heal. I need to do rock again. No! I can't do rock with this character. This character, well, could, but now she can't. So now she has to do this, I guess. Yes. Rock time! Oh, he switched. Before I attacked? All right. Well, at least I get to do scissors, so... This person... It seems like it's, like, not even for how many elements we have. So... Like, paper is rare for some reason? Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I think you're gonna beat... I mean, it looks like you're gonna beat this guy. Yeah, I didn't realize, uh... Uh-oh, that might have been a mistake, because she can't do that twice in a row. Oh no, I wasted my turn. Uh... Jolly Rondo Rondo. Around Rondo. Limey, limey, glimey. Oh, there it is. I did the thing. Heal me or something. Alright. Do this again. Uh. Knife to meet you. Ho ho ho. More scissors, I guess. You know, he's probably gonna change. No, she still can't do it. You fool. Just the cool kill him. are too long. Don't need it. Let's see. I mean, I have to hit him with scissors anyway. He's always, like, immune to... Yeah. Uh, ...bullshit anyway. Unfortunately, not everyone has... ...cool attacks. Yeah, this will do the super attack again. Wow, so I guess that was a boss that we weren't supposed to lose to, or something. Huh. I assume we were supposed to lose, but, uh... Thankfully, the game is pretty easy, so... I was able to recover from my mistake of assuming it was a force to lose. Yes. Uh, no time loop here. No time loop. What if you just beat the game in one go by just not being bad at video games? Lol. Uh-huh. Take a little break then. No, no breaks. Only plot. My stomach, right? That's the yeah. There you go. I knew it. Somehow I knew it. My time. My time to be the leader. 
Why? Because it's snacks time, baby. Snacks to... Yes, food. Let's take a break or even be blessed by a change. God, like you, need to take a break sometimes. But there's no time. People are dying while you selfishly eat food. Maybe. Who knows what the plot is? Yay! What do I win? Madame? Why is this guy saying- why do they say madame? Why is there so much madame happening in this? It's like, milady. Don't assume the gender. <laughs> why are they saying milady? <laughs> madame? Favorite make me win my next coin flip. Huh? I was wondering whether the favorite tree business had any truth to it. As we can see, it does not. Hmm. Well. <coughs> so why would it come true, right? If I think to come true, it definitely will. You think so? Absolutely. That's right. Bonnie probably wished for their sister to be okay. Didn't they? Okay, who wants snacks? I have snacks. Oh, I thought there was going to be a, a crafting system, because, uh, we kept collecting, like, herbs and spices and shit. <laughs> but somehow she just magically has plantain chips. <laughs> you all clap. <laughs> uh, this is reminding me of, uh, Red Letter Media, your, uh, nerd crew. I saw an ATAT, -AT, so I clapped. Oh. <laughs> Don't think. Consume product. Is that the same? Yeah, clip? yeah. Oh. I clapped because I know Star Wars. I know what that is. I clapped. <laughs> <laughs> boring but delicious cookies. Well, why are they boring? How could cookies be boring? Yeah, this is... I get adding person, I guess some people are like, man, I'm so, like... This next, 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 next. Yeah, it, it's going... It goes on way too long. Like... Something people need to learn is, uh... What is that expression? Like... Brevity is the soul of wit? Something like that, yeah. You know, it's like... We got, we got it. We got the yelling... They gotta have snacks. I'm just imagining, like, all the effort that went into, like, eventing this and, like, drawing these things. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take a cookie, because I'm gonna die of malnutrition. That's my plan. There's no meat! Where's my meat? You absently nod. You indifferently nod. <laughs> You determinedly. Uh, everyone has to fucking still talk and shoot. All right. That was tasty, but you're still a bit hungry. Oh well. Yes, one cookie is not very uh, effective meal. So, when's the plot gonna happen? Or, I don't know, uh... I mean, we're at an hour. I think we should, uh... I mean, I, I think maybe go a bit, but but just completely skip, like, dialogue. Don't even think, don't even read it in your mind. Just go, go, go. Yeah. And see if we get to the end of the demo. Yeah, I wanna see... I wanna see the time stuff. Yeah. So... I also wanna say maybe before we... If we don't get there, maybe just die and see what fit. Oh, yeah, if it just happens. And if it becomes, yeah, if it happens. It's true, I did save just now, so at least if it's if it bamboozles us by having a regular death screen, <laughs> then we'll be safe. Yeah. Which is very possible. Alright, so I'm the chat person, so I guess I'll just run in straight ahead. What? Oh, okay. 
Why do I have to check the room? I'm done. I, yeah, isn't that person the first person I talked to, Mirabelle? Okay, so... Do not know. Is that not Mirabelle? Yeah, that is. So, what's your problem? Let's go! Look, I, if you walk in a straight line, there's no traps. So I have to rock around like an idiot? Yeah, I guess, yeah, click on the, the little interactable right there under under the column. Oh, I know, that's just that's just a broken column. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so you gotta click on each one, I guess. No traps. Uh, 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 I see. Uh, 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 where is it? Uh. Piece of game. <laughs> Okay, we're good. Let's go. And then the trap is going to happen, right? Because we... Because that's... That's going to happen. Something waits inside of time. Until here. Bella, bella, bella. We are supposed to go. Bella. Yeah, I, I, you really got to, like, care about care to these, you know, making these characters, I guess caring about these characters to make this game anything interesting. Which I don't, personally. But yeah, this game has positive reviews. Yeah, I don't really... I don't know. Okay, this I... is charming. This part's charming. Yeah, he's gonna die. They're gonna die. Time to die! <laughs> I knew it! Here's the loop. A tug on your soul. Stomach, oh, damn. I guess wrong. And, I don't know. I feel like the people who play video games and uh, watch anime don't really have much ability to judge quality of stories. <laughs> uh -huh. So, I mean, this is kind of what I thought the time loop would be. It would just be like a narrative uh, framework. It wouldn't actually be like any kind of like game design type thing uh oh i figured it was part of the mechanics yeah but we'll see we'll see if i'm like level one or something that's just like yeah uh, uh -huh. you just look at her uh okay then oh, no, not too long okay huh huh hold on did you just die? Oh my god. Oh, the music is like weird. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, this person has a... Uh, some sort of uh, self-esteem issues. Static. Uh huh. Paul said, "You die from sleeping too long." <laughs> <laughs> you let die. Not a creep. in time ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. yeah <coughs> oh well at least you were in the lead as always judging by where you were when you died you were probably the only one who got hit the only one that has groundhog's day powers Remember Groundhog's Day? Mm. The movie where a person keeps reliving the same day over and over again? Yes. I haven't seen it, but I've heard of it. Remember the Tom Cruise movie? I forget what it was called. Live, Die, Repeat? Yeah. Of, yeah. The, the, that eventually changed that title because Edge of Tomorrow was... They didn't feel it was marketable, marketably viable enough or something like that. 
Hey, you remember Happy Death Day? That horror movie where they specifically reference Groundhog's Day? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, so so it, it does look like then it's a narrative thing, then, as you're saying, versus a game mechanic, right? Yeah. You'd script it to die at that spot. Which kind of... A little bit disappointing, not gonna lie, but, you know. A save point. Yeah, the constant saving makes me think that this is, in actuality, fully linear. You know, yeah. there's probably some optional deaths or something, but, like, it's not really built as a system to withstand, like, a lot of interactivity. Yeah. Like how you die, exactly. when you die. Uh, messing around with systems design when you die. Why do I keep getting these chat options that have no... Uh, decisions. I guess uh, that's what I'm assuming, is that when I die, I'll... Maybe I'll think to try it again or something and do a different choice. Maybe. How about a sleepover? Yeah, baby. Time for us to share a sleeping bag. Can you change? Oh, here we go. Alright, so here's what I was talking about. Oh no. Never mind. This, why? <coughs> but why? Yeah, like how funny would it have been if like it gave me three options and one of them was like, fuck you, idiot. It's like, no, you made it worse. Damn it. Damn it, not a piece of cake. <laughs> Mission failed. And then you die yeah, we had another reason. game. What was it? The last one we did before this one that had the same thing where you had a, you had selection options, but you had one choice. Yeah. Or like this is kind of stupid. Well, the duck game had two choices, but the choices were always the same. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah. Uh, there was some other game we played that had. It chose to make it so that you would have to like whenever your character was talking, they would talk in a choice box instead of just like showing their face. So it's like, okay. Ugh, I can't move. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, hey, hey. Come to the favorite tree at the west of the village. Stardust. Ugh! What? Vroom, 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 vroom. Alright, I can control my character. Uh, isn't that, that's a big tree. Oh, that's Mirabelle. So this is kind of cool, seeing the little village and all the people running around. Yeah, after being dungeon-bound. All, the, all these little sprites. Fortunately, there's like, boy, boy, this engine is just so... So grid-based. Well, I was going to say, like, you probably can't see it over the stream, but there's like... Very minor, like, frame loss or something happening. But that's uh -oh. just RPG Maker. It just sucks. Yeah. <laughs> it just Sounds sucks. about right. Oh. That was an interesting sound. Eat these flowers. Oh, there's the interactivity I was talking about. You can click on everything on the map. Interactivity. And it'll say something about it. Good design. Wow, what a good use of dev time to make all these event things and then think of something to say about what you're doing when you click on it. Like, that's a barrel! <laughs> Man, Resident Evil has a lot of that, a lot of uh, story stuff when you click on, like, file, if you're on a, and there's a wall or a shelf with a bunch of files, it'll even, it adds there, it adds flavor there, but that's also a big team, and it's also survival horror, so it helps. <laughs> and this is pretty unnecessary. Yeah, you're like, anytime a game has actual, like, pixel hunt, or you're, like, trying to find stuff, it kind of makes sense that you're like kind of shuffling through shit. Yeah. The favor tree. You heard a voice. What was that voice? It was the voice of Duke Nukem. Dark as night, but you feel you like someone is here sitting at the foot of the tree looking at you. Is it just going to be the dude? Oh, with the hand on your dagger. Wait, they have weapons? Oh yeah, I guess I should have looked at their inventory. Well, uh, you found someone, alright. Isn't it just the dude? The 
big burly dude? Oh, no, it's some wacky Star character. Man. Oh, yeah, it's kind of funny. The cute Star eyes. Star Man. Yeah, talk to me about cosmic power and such. We have a lot to talk about, don't we? Oh, hard cut. Oh, there we go. I beat the demo. Well, well that settles it. Thanks for playing. That settles it. We're done. We did it. All right. Uh, so I don't trust that there's going to be some sort of crazy cosmic story that happens there that's super interesting. But, you know, maybe there will be. Who knows? I will say, the majority of the back and forth, I was like, whatever, but there were little bits of charm here and there that I did enjoy to be not completely pessimistic about it. But it definitely wasn't enough for me to want to ever play this game. Yeah, but, it's just it's just yeah. a lot. I think Yeah. it's definitely the... Uh, to me, it comes across as, like, quantity over quality, but that's not to say that there's not, you know, some stuff there that's not bad. Yeah. Um, I would think that the usual... Uh, what they teach you in writing of, you know kind of trimming things down yep would just would only help the game like uh just make it better like there's no i don't and i wonder like the people who already like the game because obviously it has found an audience and there are people who like this kind of stuff i wonder how they feel like if all of the characters and everything was the same but it was just more concise wouldn't they yeah, still, yeah. wouldn't they still like it like yeah do they really enjoy every moment of the back and forth yeah. Oh, yeah, and the, the adverb thing. So, yeah, that's like a cardinal sin is you want to try to use punchy language. So instead of, you know, he ran quickly, you should say he bolted, right? Or he sprinted. And so that's why in general adverbs in creative writing is not not good. You can usually find a better word. That also is less wordy and more uh, descriptive. Oh, I see. So that is real. That is real. I'm not making that up. That is a thing <laughs> creative writing teachers will tell you or, or whatever professional authors will tell you, I should say. Yeah. Words. Words. Use better words. Use better language. Yeah, especially if it's a narrator talking, because, um, you know, character. I always say character dialogue can have uh, flaws and, uh, you know, characters not, not being super uh, charismatic and witty, because that's, you know, how people talk. But of course, Yeah, 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 that's true. But of course you kind of walk a line if you do that, where it's like... Um, not every character can just be Jeff Goldblum being like, uh, mm, uh, <laughs> you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, I guess we have gameplay first here, which is, uh, I mean, it was more than RPG Maker, so it's definitely at least a two. Uh, yeah. But but how much more? But man, I mean, I guess it's kind of funny because I feel like I do kind of feel like they've did as much as they could do but they really just hamstrung themselves with such a simple concept um, yeah the rps the yeah it's rock paper scissors guess what it's rock paper scissors that's it but you know the kind of like um giving people turns and like that combo system that i only used at the end uh that kind of yeah. that did a little something i definitely realized with that boss that the game is a lot easier than <laughs> probably expected because i went into that basically trying to die and then realized i think i'm supposed to kill this guy <laughs> and like yeah was able to recover so um it's not gonna be particularly high though no um i don't know three i'm thinking three i think three is pretty good because um there's definitely some other things they could have done to make it more interesting. Um, I don't trust that there's going to be anything, anything interesting in terms of, like, exploration other than narrative stuff. And there's no, like, meaningful upgrades or anything like that or mini games. So yeah. that was kind of, that was kind of, like, all of it, you know. Indeed. Uh, narrative. I mean, I might go pretty high here. I mean, relatively speaking, when I say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, whoa. I might say, like, maybe even four or five or something. Eh, maybe not five, because five means I have to 
understand character motivations and stuff. But the thing is, we couldn't. I mean, that's their fault for the demo, right? Because we literally got through the entire demo. Because it felt like they were about to give me some sort of motivation, but then they cut it off. So, whoops. Yeah. Um, so as far as I know, this is just like, hey, random Gen Z kids are having an adventure for some reason. Even though they seem to be completely ill-suited to such a task. Yes. Because we have to make them overly relatable by making them complete fucking losers. Um, <laughs> I mean, no offense to, you know, any real people that are like this, but, like, you know, heroes generally need to be good at, like, fighting and, like, doing things and not overly cowardly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Unless that's the bit of the story. But, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Um, but, you know, um, but that's the thing is they're in there and they don't have the motivation yet. If we're gonna if we're gonna yeah. get the motivation from this star guy, then what were what were we doing there in the first place? Like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't particularly impressed. I thought there were a few funny jokes. Uh, so, I'll give I'll give some credit there, I guess. Yeah, like but I think, otherwise, I was kind of eh. like if these characters were like playing a D and D campaign, that would make more sense. Like the sure. characters in the D and D campaign though are still supposed to be like somewhat competent you know <laughs> yeah yeah and then the players are the ones who are the doing dumb stuff yeah yeah i think that kind of framework makes more sense but when they're actually the ones it's kind of like i mean unless unless it's one of those stories where like i don't know like magical girls because a lot of time mag magical girl anime is just like they're just like regular girls but they're like given powers and that's kind of the joke that's kind of the fun of it yeah they're kind of like but why me no <laughs> i don't want this responsibility <laughs> get brought into an alternate universe so you yeah. know that, that can be fun but without without context then i don't what are these people doing why are they the first line of defense i don't get it yeah yeah i don't, I don't really either to be honest uh, there's a bit of skippy skip dialogue skippy skip 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 yeah uh, i wonder how long that would have taken me if i didn't skip so much probably like three hours it's <laughs> a lot maybe um. See, I don't know. I, I was saying a four or something. What do you think? Yeah, that's fair. I give it a four. I think it's fine. Yeah, four. Okay. Um, audio. I kind of want to go pretty high just because I have a lot of uh, respect for the composer. It sounded like they had some kind of a grasp on like uh, manipulating a theme to like match scenes so i always think that's pretty cool and i was listening to the theme the melody and it like has a lot of variation and like where it goes and how it changes and stuff and that was pretty cool um all the sounds are rtp or not all of them but a lot of them are rtp so they lose points <laughs> on audio yeah, obviously RT, rtp is gonna hurt um, this for sure and all those you know i give all these compliments for music but i wouldn't say it's completely there um in terms of it wasn't a banger like uh, Sea of Stars seemed like it was, which is like where it's like st I'm forcibly stopping the game. So like, oh wait, I gotta listen to this, you know? Yeah. Um. So I don't know. I might give it like a five or something. I don't know. Oh, man, I want to give it a four because RTP. Because <laughs> of the RTP, I think that's fair. Yeah. I think that's pretty fair. I did say I did Bring say it down. that I'm pretty angry about RTP sounds and I hate them a lot. Yeah, I mean, how how much would it have hurt your damn scope to just get some stock sounds? It doesn't have to be. You don't need a foley artist or anything like that. There's plenty of free sounds online, and there's plenty of like dev packs that are like like I bought a dev pack that's like two thousand sounds or something like that. And it, granted, I got it in a in a uh, humble bundle, so it only costed me like pennies. But like, I think the full price of it would be like twenty dollars. So, you know. It's not what I'm saying is it's not hard to get like uh, sounds that aren't fucking RTP. <laughs> yeah, you know I, I will say because people are complaining about this in our def in in the developers' defense, most people aren't don't hate RTP in terms of its repetitiveness. I I'm more of a repetitiveness. I know you don't like the sounds in general. I don't like them particularly. I think they're not good. But what really bugs me is the just it, what it portrays in terms of its lack of effort. 
uh, and, and so in, in developer's defense, most people don't even know <laughs> that these are like RTP sounds. Yeah. So maybe that's why they're like, yeah, it's not a big deal to, to use them, which I could see. But yeah, otherwise, I mean, I'm still going to penalize them for it. I'm just, you know, defending them a bit because someone might complain. Uh, you know, oh, you guys are bitching because you guys hear it all the time. Yeah, maybe. But I still think it just shows low effort. So that's why I don't like it. Yeah. Uh, so what, what am I saying? Like five or something or four? Four. Four, all right. It's five average for his RTP. Yeah. Loses a point to RTP. Loses a point for RTP. Visuals. Uh, I mean, obviously, everything went into visuals on this game. Um, lots yeah. of unique art style. Kind of looks like Shin-Chan. If I don't put a picture of Shin-Chan art earlier, I'll do it here. Sure. Uh, <laughs> but I think Shin-Chan looks really weird. So it's not yeah, quite yeah. that. Uh, it's definitely higher quality than Shin Chan. Yeah, Shin Chan just has the weirdly low out. quality garbage, yep. which I think is part of the humor of it. That's hundred percent part of the trailer. <laughs> um, and it was—I almost want to say like they kind of like did this as like an exercise to be like, "Hey, how do I make an element system and like make characters that the player can tell what element they're supposed to do use by looking at the enemy." Um, they kind of cheated a little bit by having the hand gestures always present, but um, anyway, it's not not terrible. I wish I wish they didn't go to the black and white route, but yeah, that that I wasn't too happy about either. Uh, so you know they'll probably get pretty high. Um, wow, we gave Octopath Traveler two a six. Take that. <laughs> so I'll probably give him a five or something. I don't know. Uh, five or six, I don't know. Four, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> it's like four is the magic. I guess, yeah, because it's like it's a unique art style, but it's also a simple art style. Yeah. No, I, I mean it's fair. It, it's a good. I mean, it's. I don't want to say it's good. It, it's that's subjective, but it definitely it seems like there's a good amount of effort in it. Yeah. So yeah, we can give it a five or something. No yeah. color, I think, hurts a little bit. Yeah, that's true. If Even was... if it's intentional, obviously it's intentional, but you know, if it has I like color. sweet colors, then I. I think that would have been higher. Yeah. It's, it's hard for us, hard for my brain to appreciate black and white. I remember there's been a couple of, like, perf like that, what was that game called? Mad World? That was for, like, the Wii? Yes. Yep, it was, like, yep. all black and white. I That game made me, like, fucking, like, hurt my eyes. Like, I hated it. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> it was all black and white. But, you know, that game was full 3D, so it was, like, there's definitely some, like, difficulty in, like, trying to make sense of a 3D world when it's black and white like that. Yeah, and there's there blood still. I think the blood was red in there. Oh, game. yeah, yeah. Uh, map. I mean, mapping was actually pretty... I mean, I commend them for, like, making a tile set that seems like it was pretty easy to use. And The town looked pretty cool, but castle is pretty boring. I mean, I guess maybe they're trying to capture, like, Undertale simplistic style, because Undertale is pretty simple with the mapping, as I recall. But to me, it's just kind of like, I don't know, lazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's just, it, it was kind of plain, in all honesty. Just a little, very, very plain. Yeah, so uh, there wasn't really any kind of exploration. For some reason, every uh, treasure room, or whatever you want to call it, was like a pantry, which I thought was kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, I guess there was one room that was like the blacksmith, so there is that, but like... I don't know. More variety. Uh, sure. So I might go kind of low here. Be like a three or something. Yeah, I would say, I was going to say, yeah, kind of low. It is very, uh, it's think, very plain. I kind of think they get carried by having a unique tile set. Yeah, yeah. And like those trees and buildings look kind of cool. Um, technical, I guess, is pretty high for an RPG Maker game. Um, but then again, it's an RPG Maker game, so <laughs> how high? So how what does high it could mean? It be? Uh, I think the highest it could be would be a five, because and they do have custom plugins. It seems like to handle animations and stuff, so that's pretty cool. But uh, it's an RPG Maker game. Like you're you're already taking a pretty big shortcut on the technical amount of work you need to do. Yeah. Um, So yeah, at highest highest I would say is a five. Um, 
Yeah, what 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 did it really do that was nothing ventured, right? Nothing gained really. Yeah. Um it's hard to say because there's a lot of different plugins that they could have used for things and you know when I was digging around the files I saw some custom plugins because it was named after the company that made this game. Yeah. So they at least did that, but I'm a little unclear about what plugins they needed and what they needed to do because there's also a lot of plugins that I recognize that they didn't make like Yanfly and Mog Hunter. Uh, yeah. A lot of the classics that all of us RPG Maker devs abuse. Because um, they're good. They're good plugins. Um, but yeah. S- just downloading a plugin that everyone already knows about and slapping it into your project is uh, pretty easy to do. Um, yes. A lot easier than writing a plugin from scratch. I think a lot of it had to do with like UI stuff, too. like The way they changed the UI around, but I'm not sure. So you're thinking what just very uh, average, uh, or yeah, above I'm average? Gonna, I'm gonna say five, just because I don't know. They had to like work with animations and stuff. I don't think we saw the full range of animations in the game, um, so maybe I'm just sure giving them goodwill for manipulating the animations system of RPG Maker and then having to make those animations. All right, yeah, that's fine. I'm a five with five. We didn't really see any bugs, maybe some questionable yeah. grammar at the beginning, but uh value. This game is twenty dollars. Let me put that in here. Oof. Twenty dollars seems quite high to me. I would probably suggest uh, at most ten dollars. I say ten dollars a lot probably. Yeah. Cause uh... I'm not really seeing like a lot of game, I guess. Yeah, I'd almost say five. Yeah. Cause like what am I what are we really doing? We're mostly talking. Uh and then we see like, you know, the busts, which are pretty nice. But it's like were they even really eventing very much when they were talking? It's like just chat windows. Like that's most of the game. Yeah, exactly. It's just um, that and then the combat what's you know, it's what, rock, paper, scissors, meh. Yeah. So I think I think five. Yeah, uh, didn't I didn't really see at least you know if the game has this later on, well that's on them for not putting it in the demo like show off your shit, but it's not like Amori or uh, uh, one of those other games where it's like there's all sorts of like cutesy like animations interactions and stuff. Yeah, that's kind of what I was missing here. Uh, yeah, I, I did like the part with the trap, and then. When it cut to the you know the ground level view and then it did, I thought that was cool. But I, I was like, one of the only times I saw that style. The rest of it was a lot of the character, you know, the the busts or whatever. A lot of it was just back and forth busts talking. Yeah. So I was just uh, not yeah not impressed. Not impressive. Overall. Five dollars. You is. know, my guess is is in the later parts there probably is more animations, more of the story stuff and. But, you know, and then even that, you know, for me personally, this is obvious, whatever my opinion, if you don't agree with it, go fuck yourself. But yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm a gameplay person. I just I just am. I, I, I get it for people who want to play story. I do like a good story, but the gameplay is first And this game. I felt the gameplay was just very, very, very lacking and not surprising. And, you know, I know that's my opinion. Other people, like I said, I, I get people can play a very mediocre game, but have just get invested in the story. I understand that. It's fine. You can have that opinion. I, I don't have that. I, the game has to be fun first. I'm playing it. If I want to, if I want a good story, I'll just watch the story. I'm not going to play a game for it. So this game, the gameplay just felt really, 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 you know, it's the RPG maker two, barely above the RG, RPG maker two. So that alone makes it not high value for me. That alone, like caps it at five for me. Kind of. That's almost like a hard rule. If it's just very basic. Yeah, uh, RPG Maker gameplay. It's not going to ever be worth more than five in my mind, outside of a you know extreme circumstance. So yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out what how long the game is, but for some reason these hours are all over the place. Twenty four hours in this game over the course of three days. Uh, so I guess it's pretty long, but like. After playing the game for 45 hours, which is thirty-five on another platform, spending two full playthroughs. So 45 hours is a full playthrough? 
or getting all the it's achievements. Pretty... Getting all the achievements doesn't count as a full playthrough. Yeah. That's not what I'm looking at. I'm, I don't know. I don't know how long the game is. So, <laughs> uh, it's so well, was... even if it's like twenty something, I think five is fair for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because it's like basically a visual novel at that point. I don't know. Uh, exactly. <laughs> So anyway, uh, what do we think about value? I mean, it hurts pretty pretty hard being twenty dollars. Twenty dollars is pretty high. Like, yeah, twenty dollars almost buys you like Hades or like Amori in the Blind Forest. It's a pretty top notch. Uh, that's true. Oh man, yeah, there. that's true. That, and that's like these. Are, this is even close to those games. Yeah. So that's, I mean, what can I say? This game's probably made a ton of money, though, because it has a ton of reviews. Yeah. But whatever, it shows our, our opinion, so... Yeah. i pick three. I, I, don't, I, I feel it's still better than a two value, as much as I don't agree with... I can be a, I'm being a little bit, uh, un, you know, whatever, fairer than I would normally be, but I, I, do, I do understand there's a good amount of effort in this game, so I'll give it a, a three. I, I, don't, I still think it's worth more than a two value in the yeah. value score. I think I think I can agree with that. Um, oops, I typed the wrong number. Um, so what do we think for overall impression? Um, I might have to think about this because this is, this is one of the tough ones because I feel like I have to think about, uh, well, what did I say? Did I say the overall impression is our own feelings instead of guessing what other people would think? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah. Okay, then that changes that strategy. Because, <laughs> you know, if I'm talking about for other people, I can definitely see why it's rated so high. Um, it's, it's definitely doing the things that people like about this uh, Gen Z type storytelling, I guess, of a group of friends bantering back and forth about nothing. Um, if you had to give it an uh, audience score, what would you give it? audience score like roughly if yeah if you're if you're giving it in the mind of the audience uh you know probably like a c plus maybe okay good thing it's not yeah but it's not so i don't know what i'm you know i guess the combat as simple as it was at least felt kind of like something it's all you know seeing those long gameplay hours is actually really intimidating to me because like if you were to tell me this game was four hours long, I could probably see myself playing through it. But, you know, I just like, yeah. By maybe. hour nine, you're bored out of your mind. Yeah. yeah. If I don't have, if I, if I got it for free, because I probably wouldn't pay $20 for it, then I would probably pay it. Play, and I'd be like, yeah, I'll play it. But for, if it's like 40 hours long, I'm like, oh my God, there's no way I could st take this for 40 hours. Yeah. So. Unless, yeah. And I don't see it changing that much over time. Yeah, the Starman could be interesting, but judging by everything by everything else we've seen, I have no faith that it would be interesting in a way that I would care about, like some sort of cosmic yeah. storyline of weird powers and cool shit. I'm sure the Starman's going to talk, and he's going to talk just like these five characters we've already seen, and I'm just going to be like, oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I, f I feel that we've gotten enough of the writer's style that the Starman is just going to be, you know, obviously we'll have his own storyline and whatever, but honestly, more of the same, I assume. Yeah. Uh, so funny enough, I don't know if I, do I still say, no, nah, maybe I'll go D plus, maybe I'll be a jerk. I was leaning toward that. I wasn't, I feel I, I'm torn, me personally, I'm torn between D plus plus and C minus minus because I know it sounds funny, but I feel like it having you know being successful and having a, a just quality to it. I feel that does keep it in the C range, but just like the absolute bare minimum of it. Yeah, I think after hearing you say that, I'm kind of like you know maybe I should go C minus minus. I just feel like I don't know. Maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe I could get. I think I could still get some level of like. Hey, it's a game out of it. <laughs> Maybe I don't have to beat the game. I'd get like five hours into it and be like, all right. But I mean, the, the, obviously the value hurts because if I were for some reason to pay $20 and just play this game for five hours and not get anywhere near the ending, that definitely, for I don't know, the type of person I am where I'd be upset about wasting money like that. 
<laughs> like, yeah, I didn't get to see the whole thing. Damn it. What am I doing? Um, but being the frugal gamer that I am, playing the demo is enough to tell me, like, ah, uh, I don't need to play this game. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, I'll, I'll be due to the effort. I could, you know, outside of the RPT, RTP sounds, the animations and stuff, uh, I'll give it a C minus minus. Fuck it. Oh, wow. Wowie wowzers. They did it. Yeah, because the writing definitely had a lot of effort into it. I could see what they were trying to do with stuff. I just really wish they would just cut it down, be more concise, and then it would have been fine, probably. I probably could have maybe even enjoyed it if it was just more concise. Yeah. Like the whole banter back and forth. It, yeah, I mean, yeah, and considering it scores, I guess people, some people like that, which is fine, but. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got to the point where I was. But then again, like I said, I'm also not much of a game story person. So yeah. I would skip even, potentially even good dialogue. I'd potentially kind of go fast through. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's no voice acting, so you can just read it as fast as you want. Be like, bam, bam, bam. Yes. Sometimes I feel guilty. I've been playing uh, Jade Empire. Remember Jade Empire? Nobody remembers Jade Empire. Um, and there are times when I'm skipping the dialogue just because I'm reading faster than they're talking. And I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I've read it already. Move on. Yeah, and you get the part where they go, and you know, and I go, <laughs> okay, then, and then you just keep cutting them off because you're reading way faster than they can say it. <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry. I'm sure you did some hard work recording this and acting and whatnot, but this is a side quest that I don't care about, so I'm going to move faster. Uh, anyway, yeah. back to this game. Um what do we write for this note here? Oh yeah, it is RPG Maker. And boy, it sure is RPG Maker, lol. Oh yeah, that's like that's our, because this is part of our Is It series. Oops, yeah. we didn't talk, yeah, I guess we didn't compare too much to, whatever, we talked about the RTP and stuff. Yeah, what about this game? Now, yeah, it's kind of rough because it's like now that we've played through the game, it's like so blindingly obvious that it's RPG Maker. Like, yep. Just like, whoops. But, you know, let that be a lesson to like people out there because I'm sure that helped the sales. It's like people looked at it and they didn't think it was RPG Maker. It's like, ooh, this game looked pretty. And so they bought it. And, uh, yeah. They were none the wiser because, you know, as far as I know, most people who aren't RPG Maker devs really can't tell. When no, they're made just going to think it's another JRPG, yeah. Yeah, they, they don't. It's fun. It's, it's like, you're, we're, you know, you're making a game where you talk about RPG Maker and it's like, ugh. But I know you, you I mean, you can obviously, a lot of RPG Maker devs can obviously make fun of themselves about RPG Maker, but it's kind of funny. It's, man. Man. it's the mark of rpg maker is yeah it's so just even subtle things even there may be even things i i don't even personally i can't put quite into words and i don't i don't quite understand what it is but i i still feel it <laughs> RPG maker, right and i don't like it so yeah whether feels, it's like how the movement works or something yeah feels dirty yeah. yeah oh you know it's weird i didn't mention this they turned off the mouse for some reason i'm pretty sure this is made in mv which has mouse controls by default but I couldn't use the mouse, so... But, you know, I used the controller, and that was fine. Yeah. I have to I have to imagine there must have been some feature in the game that uh, didn't play nice with the mouse, so they were just like, you know what, we don't need a mouse, just, just fucking get, get it out of here. <laughs> get it out of here. And, you know, I respect that. As, a, you know, as an indie dev, if something's just too much trouble and you don't need it, just fucking cut it. It's true. Just cut it out of there. Get it. Get rid of it. Like if your game is not dependent on it, get rid of it. It's not worth it. It's not worth adding a month to your scope for some bullshit to have to, that you have to like figure out. Yeah. All right. I think that's all we got to say about this. Yeah, I think that's all. It's kind of just uh, out of nowhere. I just saw it pop up in uh, Steam at some point, and I was like, "Wait a minute." Is that RPG Maker? And it took me a, a, a solid, you know, thirty seconds to figure it out for once, because I wasn't—I really wasn't sure. But 
Uh, so that kind of prompted me to, and you know, it was doing well. So I was like, seems like this will make a good episode. And uh, that was all I had to think about. It. So, so that's why we're, that's why, that's all we got out of it. So is the green bar in on the spreadsheet, is it for, <clears throat> sorry, is it for the Is It series or is it for if it's actually not RPG Maker? Because <laughs> this thinking, one actually is RPG Maker. Yeah, I was thinking it's for the ones that aren't RPG Maker. Okay, that's fine. Because even though this is part of that series, it actually is RPG Maker, so it doesn't get the green highlight. And the red one is, is obviously a joke because it's my game, so... <laughs> just 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 laugh laugh at these numbers because it's all silly um it's all yeah and it has the obama meme with the medal <laughs> of honor the best that's like one of the best uses of that meme this <laughs> this niche <laughs> channel we have with this niche subject matter people have no idea how genius that one is uh yeah my fiance loves that one too every time she sees it when i'm scrolling through my channel she laughs <laughs> It's like Obama Excellent. giving himself a medal. <laughs> I'm the greatest. Uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to cover my own game again at some point, and I'll have to think of how to how to do that again. Maybe it'll be Biden doing. I think I've seen that meme with Biden, so maybe I can do that. You can do the one where he's whatever sniffing that person's hair or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was gonna Isn't say. Is there a meme where he's like sniffing someone's ear or something? Oh. And uh, I mean, and then you put him in both. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you need the, the medal. Obviously, there's no medal in that, so maybe not. I don't know. We, we'll we'll figure it out. But the the medal of honor pinning is uh, pretty good <laughs> by Obama, so we'll have to find something equivalent. Yeah. Oh man. All right. I guess that's all we have uh, for this one. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>